In the last two videos, we've talked about shape. I'm going to continue that trend in talking about the shape outside of the shape. So if you look at this lamp on the left, this is in natural daylight lighting. And you can see all the little details on the inside of the form. But then when I turn the lamp on, as you can see on the right, you get a different image entirely. All of a sudden, the object itself has been silhouetted. And so you can't really see those details on the inside so well. What you can see instead is the illuminated wall behind the primary shape. So if you could think of the shape as being the positive, then the everything else around it is the negative. And they call this negative space. Now, of course, this illumination was really just an example. You can look at any object and envision the shape around it as a negative space. This just makes it a little easier to see. So in our continued journey to look at specific shape, today we're going to draw the negative space. So here we go. I've got the side of my pencil ready, and I've got a picture of my camera tripod. And if you were doing this in person, you'd probably just set up a real object and just start drawing from life. So to accomplish this negative space drawing, you have to lay in the positive space as well. And you can use any combination of the visual measuring tools we've already talked about in previous videos. Here I'm going to be doing a bit of the block-in technique. And I'll be refining the shape a bit when it comes to the negative space part. And it should be said that the final result that I'll get here is not an image that I'm going to put in my portfolio. This is just like weightlifting. All I'm doing here is training my eye to recognize negative space as part of an object, just a way to see specific shape better. So the way that you get to the end result in this experiment is not really all that important. If you wanted to do a contour line drawing first, that would be fine. But the important part is that we're thinking in terms of shape and not in terms of interior details. Those are also called secondary contours. What we're really concerned about here is the primary contour, the outline, and then we'll visualize that more starkly by coloring the outside or negative space. And this is what you end up with. So you can see that there's a lot of tone laid down in the background. And there's really not any line anywhere. So what you're seeing is the first bit of drawing in value, not in line. There's black and there's white. So this is another great exercise to train your brain to see specific shape. But the way you're implementing it on the paper is quite a bit different. And in this, you might find you're doing quite a bit of your drawing with the eraser because you might lay down too much of that negative space and then need to carve a little away. So this is a good opportunity to try out the kneaded eraser and the vinyl eraser. They'll help you out a lot. I'm sure some of you out there have seen the silhouette drawings that I've referred to in other videos, whether it's a video game character or something that's originally designed as a silhouetted shape. Well, believe it or not, this is the first baby step towards that sort of drawing. The important part, though, is the mindset. Understanding negative space. So your homework is going to be to do three of these objects. And I'd encourage you to pick as complicated of a shape as you can find. Keep these drawings small, though, because if you make them really big, you're just going to spend all your time filling in that black negative space. And you don't want to do that. So I know this is hard work, guys, but I'm glad you're sticking with it. This sort of critical exercise is what really builds your observational drawing chops. It's not very flashy, but it's the steps towards the results you're looking for. Good luck and thanks for watching.